a second year PhD student in optoelectronics in the Department of Physics and I'm working on light emitters, uh, specifically organic LEDs. They could be the way forward for making flexible displays um, and they're also pretty efficient so it could be a huge new renewable source and like light source that we can use. So in my lab we discovered these um, light emitters called carbene metal amides and they are really efficient so normally efficiency for organic LEDs is capped at 25 percent and these are a hundred percent and they also emit blue light which is really cool um, since the last time we had blue light uh, being emitted was from a Nobel Prize discovery. So my research now is delving into the physics and trying to propose a better theory as to why we have such efficient organic LEDs, what's happening with the compounds, um, and really going into the structure of the, of the molecules. So it's a lot of molecular physics. Um, and the theory that we believe that is holding right now is that um, we have these dark states and we have light states and um, the molecule is able to rotate and therefore we can invert the spin of the electron so we can have more light states from dark states. I could definitely see myself gravitating towards those roles and I think what's enabled me, like I think science gives you this kind of confidence towards dealing with you know, this, like numbers and just trying to break down problems and I think that can be used um, in a lot of fields. I mean, I got interested in this project because it was so cutting edge um, and I liked the critical thinking that I could do with it um, and it was like a good application of what I had done in undergrad and I just liked the idea of it working with light and that was really cool but something I've realized is how much I enjoy working with people. Science is you know you have your own project and, and in some ways you collaborate but it's mostly very isolated because you have to produce your own results um, but going forward I could definitely see myself in like the public sector um, and, and as an undergrad I'd served on two committees at the United Nations so I'd would love to do that again. So I've been looking for ways to display my science um, in creative visuals and I was able to pair up with an artist in London and she's going to basically take my research and display it in a way that people could understand and that's going into a Royal Society science exhibition for the summer which is exciting. I think one of the biggest, when I look at, especially when I look at my lab and I see there's so few women in it, and I, you know, a lot of my friends, they were sometimes intimidated by science, and it, a lot of times I'm giving a reason as to why not pursue science. It's not so much as I didn't enjoy it or I enjoyed something else. Sometimes it comes to be like, oh, I just couldn't do math or I just couldn't do it. My brain doesn't function that way, which is completely wrong. Um, and I just feel like, I grew up in a family that did science and so I was surrounded by it and I think early on it just clicked and I think if I can give that kind of click to more people that would be really cool. So I'm looking at ways to do that um, through like science media, the exhibition and I think art is something that we all enjoy. I mean I love going to history of art seminars. I've always been infused by that. I did a few projects in undergrad and um, in museums, um, and I think I think there could be a real way to, to connect science with art, um, so people could understand it more. It could just be more part of what we have.